Hello trainers, Professor Palm here, and happy Father's Day to all of you guys. I hope that you're all having a great day with your father. There's so many things you could do, and who knows, whatever you're doing, maybe it's fun, maybe you're not having a great Father's Day, but I hope you and your father tune into this video because I want you guys to know something important that having a father is very, very important because they can be a very good role model to you. And also, today's a day, other than their birthday, just to show them how much they mean to you. I gotta say, in the world of Pokemon, it's kind of strange that we always seem to have a mother character, but we never seem to have a father. Who's our dad? Where did he go? I mean, why do we only have a mother? I mean, don't get me wrong, sometimes they mention a father character, but where is he? Is he just traveling the world or something? Who knows? Just like Ash Ketchum. Where's his father? I really want to know. However, there are characters that oftentimes do have fathers. In some games, mainly the Hoenn games, we had our rival, who was the child of Professor Birch. In any of the Hoenn games, you find out when you go to Battle Frontier that your rival, let's just call him Barry, is the son of Palmer. There's a bunch of other people in the anime that also appear to have fathers. Just look at Bianca from the black and white anime. Her father made an appearance and tried to take her home, but she proved that I'm happy to be without my father. Also, if you really think about it, Meyer is also a recurring father in the anime. After all, he was Clement and Bonnie's father and he saved his children as well as their friends many times as this superhero, the Blaziken Mask. However, I have to say, in almost every game, we never seem to have a father figure. However, when Generation 3 came out, the Hoenn games, we actually did get a father. And not just was he there for a little bit, he actually turned out to be a gym leader. And he was the first gym that we got to visit, and he even told us that he wanted to take us on. How cool is that? I think what kind of upsets me about that is the fact that they only did this once and never again. I mean, come on, Nintendo and Game Freak. We need a father in our lives. I mean, not all of us have fathers. Some of us do. Sometimes some of us don't have great relationships with them. But in the end, they are our parents. And who knows? Maybe sometimes we have bad relationships. But maybe we can mend these relationships over time. Since we're talking about fathers today, and I brought up Norman, the fifth gym leader of the Hoenn region, I was thinking that this would be the perfect time to talk about three different Pokemon. And I'm, of course, talking about Slackoff, Vigoroth, and, of course, the Big Daddy Monkey itself, Slacking. The reason I choose all three of these is these are the Pokemon that Norman, or I guess you could call him in the games, your father uses against you. And my goodness, does he give you a rather memorable fight. After all, he's the fifth gym leader, and at the same time, he's the guy who pushed you to be your very best. And he gives you the HM for Surf. Well, he allows you to use Surf outside of battle. But what I think is really important about these Pokemon is, if you pay closer attention to these three Pokemon, you can actually notice that they have a very similarity to you becoming your father. You might be thinking to yourself, Professor Palm, you've gone cray-cray in the head. Where on earth do monkeys and humans become together? Like, how does a monkey, ape, gorilla, whatever, relate to me? Well, my dear trainer, let me tell you one thing. You are going to learn today how these monkeys, apes, or even gorillas, or kind of sloths, relate to parenting as well as a father and you. You're going to learn the balance between them, but... Before we begin, if you like the shirt that I'm wearing, I want Tecranova to take a bow for her incredible design. This one is the Firebird Within. In honor of Father's Day, I decided to wear this shirt for Clement and Bonnie's dad, Meyer, and his Blaziken. After all, he was a caring father who was there for his children and tried his best to save them. He did it all the time and he did it as a hero without ever wanting any credit or glory. So, I thought in honor of a great father, let's wear a Blaziken shirt today. Please give her the business that she deserves. She's an incredible artist, and 
please buy a shirt. You'll look great in them. After all, I look pretty good in this Blazer Kid shirt. But I gotta be honest now, no more time for monkey business. Time to get serious. And we're gonna start off this video with the little slacker sloth itself. Slack off! Okay, I kind of think that's a little too many slacking, I've got to say. But whatever, you'll see why this Pokemon is known as a slacker. Slackoff, the slacker Pokemon, appears to be based off of the two-toed sloth, just looking at both of its hands and both of its feet. This Pokemon is very similar to a baby because it has a lot of similarities to infants, just like it spends a lot of time sleeping, it crawls around, it often cries, and it's oftentimes found lying on its stomach. If you turn Slackoff upside down, you'll notice it has a very pink tummy. This Pokemon really likes getting belly rubs. Give this Pokemon a belly rub and it'll be very happy. If you put your ear to it, you won't hear a heartbeat just yet because this Pokemon's heart beats so slowly, it's known to beat only once per minute. Slackoff lay on their stomach, loafing around almost 20 hours every single day. Because this Pokemon moves so little and sleeps a lot, it doesn't really need a lot of food. In fact, a normal meal for this Pokemon almost any day is about three leaves or even half a berry it finds on the ground. When looking at Slackoff from behind, you also notice that it has a very pink bottom, which is very similar to a baboon. Some people also see this Pokemon as the mortal sin of sloth. Very easy to know because it looks like a sloth, but at the same time, it lays around almost all day doing barely anything. The reason why most people would believe this Pokemon can be the embodiment of the mortal sin of sloth is because some people think it has a secret power, as just looking at one of these Pokemon can make people very drowsy and also makes it very boring. Ugh, ugh, sorry, I'm just getting kind of drowsy just looking at this thing. I mean, it's so lazy and it's just doing nothing. Even though Slackoff don't do a lot, it is known to climb trees, and despite its appearance and its lazy disposition, this Pokemon is actually a really good swimmer as sometimes these Pokemon swim in the rivers to get from different places to another. However, watching these Pokemon in motion is a very, very rare sign. But if you catch this Pokemon moving or in motion, consider it good luck, as seeing one move is a very rare sign, and not a lot of people in their lifetime have ever seen a Slackoth do a lot. If you remember the Pokemon Slowpoke, you know the fact that Slowpoke take a little bit of time to react to pain. With Slackoth, they also react to pain very slowly, and I actually mean slowly. These Pokemon can feel pain, but the way they express their pain is very, very slow, just like in Zootopia with the Sloth Flash. So yeah, maybe with Sloths and Slackoth as well, it's a bad idea to tell these Pokemon a joke because not only will it take them a while to understand the punchline, but watching them laugh will be even slow. And teaching this Pokemon to dance, maybe it'd be good for a slow dance. Slackoth made its anime debut in the episode of the Advanced Challenge series, Love Petalburg Style, under the ownership of, you guessed it, Norman himself. This Pokemon is also kind of annoying for its ability, Tront. For those of you who don't know, Tront is an ability that makes the Pokemon on the turn after it's used a move just loaf around. So yes, this Pokemon having the ability Tront can make a battle very annoying. The main reason why is because after they use a move, they'll be lazy and loafing around on the next turn, which can be very annoying, especially if you're trying to train this Pokemon. Unless you use an EXP share, but let's be honest, back in time, the EXP share was only for one Pokemon, not all of them. And let's be fair here, this Pokemon is not very easy to level up as it evolves at level 18. While Slackoth are very lazy and they slack in battles by loafing around, they do know some good moves that could be very helpful for you, especially in a dire situation. Since this Pokemon loafs around, it knows the move Yawn, so a good move is using the move Yawn, and then when it loafs around, the opponent will fall asleep 
After all, people get drowsy just looking at this Pokemon. Before it became a move that many other Pokemon could know, the signature move of this Pokemon was Slack Off, which could add a lot of HP back to the Pokemon. So think about this, your Pokemon's asleep, and while this Pokemon loafs around, it also gets its HP back, which is pretty good. However, if you want to train this Pokemon in a double battle, make sure another Pokemon has the move Silk Wrap. This allows their abilities to change, so now the Trant will no longer be on Slack Off. Ugh. Ugh. It's hard to keep my eyes open. This Pokemon's so boring and so lazy, it's making me drowsy to look at. Ugh. Ugh. Can't fall asleep, can't fall asleep. Ugh. Need some coffee or maybe a five-hour energy. But you know what we should do? Let's instead turn our attention to a Pokemon that screams wild and keeps us on our feet. Also, we should talk about a Pokemon that really gives us a run for our money. So, let's evolve our little slacker into the hyperactive monkey itself. Vigoroth! And trust me, this Pokemon will keep you on your feet. Vigoroth, the wild monkey Pokemon, is a very dangerous and very vicious Pokemon. It's constantly running places and it will not stop. So if you're chased by one of these Pokemon, you better have a Pokemon with Teleport or Fly to get you out of there. This Pokemon seems to be a fusion of both a two-toed sloth because of its toes, and it's also very much of a baboon. And if you look very carefully at this Pokemon, it also kind of looks like George the Gorilla from Rampage with all that white fur. Unlike its previous and final evolutions, Slackoff and Slacking, Vigoroth instead has the ability Vital Spirit, which keeps this Pokemon awake and it never falls asleep. So yeah, even during the night when creatures are fast asleep, this Pokemon can still be itching for a battle. And Vigoroth oftentimes fight till the end, and they will not stop until their enemy has stopped moving or finally surrenders. Like I said before, these Pokemon look very much like George the White Gorilla from Rampage, Vigoroth are always itching and agitated to go on a wild rampage. This Pokemon can't even sit still for one minute. The stress level rises if it cannot be constantly moving, and that stress level should be worried about because if it gets a lot of stress, this Pokemon gets sick very easily because of it. While I said that this Pokemon doesn't have the ability to sleep with Vital Spirit, I was kind of wrong. It can sleep, but it needs to get a lot of energy out in the day. That's one of the main reasons why this Pokemon is constantly running places like the fields and the mountains. If it doesn't get enough energy out, it cannot sleep at night. And you would not want this Pokemon to go bananas on you, especially when you're trying to sleep. While Slatkoff's heartbeat only went about every single minute, Vigoro's heartbeat is 10 times faster than a human's heartbeat. And this Pokemon really needs to keep itself moving or its blood will boil. If you thought that we were lucky to have warm blood, this Pokemon can run through the snow in negative degree temperature and not feel a thing because its blood is that hot and boils to that temperature. That's crazy. This Pokemon can run through any possible weather and not feel a thing. How cool is that? Since Vigoroth are wild monkey Pokemon, it comes as no surprise that these Pokemon swing from vine to vine. But what you may not know is sometimes these Pokemon like to hold contests with each other to see who's the fastest and who's the strongest. That's also a way that they can put down their stress levels and also enjoy themselves when they're at their angry point. In the Unova games Black and White and Black 2 and White 2, Professor Fennel opened up the dream world for us and oftentimes our Pokemon would fall asleep and it would have dreams. If you try to put Vigoroth in this dream world, that will never work, not only because this Pokemon's ability, Vital Spirit, but at the same time, this Pokemon can't even go to sleep when it needs to. If you ask me, this Pokemon should have the ability Insomnia. Vigoroth made its main series debut in the anime episode of the Advanced Generation, There's No Place Like Hoenn, where again, it was also owned by Norman and used in his gym battle against Ash. This Pokemon took on Pikachu, and it ended in a draw. Because this Pokemon was so angry and on a rampage, it took Pikachu a lot of time to stop it. I gotta say, 
having this Pokemon paralyzed is a very bad idea. While it can't move, its blood will boil and make it even angrier. Crazy to think how much this Pokemon does. A lot of athletes stop and at least take a break, but this Pokemon can't take a break ever unless it wants to sleep and burns enough energy out. Really must suck to be this Pokemon, especially with the fact that it must eat on the go, it must always travel places. I guess it even means it has to do other things while on the go. While Slackoff made you feel drowsy just looking at this Pokemon, this Pokemon gives me anxiety just looking at it as you have a lot to keep up with and it's constantly on the move. Wow, for a Pokemon start off as lazy, it really became a very active Pokemon without any sort of sleep. So, why don't we talk about the Pokemon that we've all been here to see. So let's give it up for the big daddy of the group, the star Pokemon of your father in the Hoenn games, and the King Kong of the Pokemon games itself. Give it up for the one and only Slacking. Slacking, the lazy Pokemon, really lives up to its name as it's a very, very lazy Pokemon, and it's also based off of a gorilla with some sloth thrown in. This is also the signature Pokemon of your father, Norman, in the Hoenn games. Slack King is the laziest Pokemon in the entire world. That's right, this Pokemon is even lazier than Snorlax. And to top it off, Snorlax took 17 years to get up, while Slack King has never had a sprite showing this Pokemon stand up. It's even very rare to see it in the card game standing up. We've gotten maybe one or two cards of it standing up, but that's about it. Isn't that crazy? I have to be honest, one thing I really like about this Pokemon, other than its cute heart-shaped nose, is the bonnet on its head. I know it's white fur, but come on, let's be real here. Looking at this thing shows how lazy it is, that it's kind of like a big baby wearing a big bonnet on its head. Just like gorillas, Slack King live in hordes, but you should also know that these Pokemon are very reluctant to move. The only times that these Pokemon will move is after they've eaten all the berries, leaves, and even the grass in their area. They'll go to find a different place to be in. Sometimes they also go to trees that produce a lot of tasty fruit. These Pokemon are very patient actually for waiting for the fruit to drop and to blossom. But sometimes when they're really hungry and they can't get the fruit, they punch the trees very hard for the fruit to fall out. While I've called Slack King an oaf for a Pokemon because it's very lazy, I guess one thing you could make a big joke about is this Pokemon has the colors of a bread, so I guess you could kind of call it a bread loaf Pokemon, which is pretty cute after all. While Slack King has a very lazy disposition, you should be kind of happy about that because when this Pokemon's angry, it will release a lot of power it's kept inside of it. That's right. This Pokemon will go on a major rampage like Kerchek from Tarzan or even Donkey Kong. It'll go berserk, or as we like to say it, it'll go bananas. If you don't like the ability Tront, you will see that ability now as a blessing because Slackoff has the highest attack of all normal Pokemon and it has higher attack than any legendary, mega evolved, or even mythical Pokemon. Yes, this Pokemon might be lazy, but it has that much power, it could even be the One Punch Man in Pokemon. Even if this Pokemon can frustrate you with that Tront ability, be very happy when it gets its move in, because it can do a lot of damage. So let's be happy it doesn't have a Mega Evolution, it can't learn a specific Z move, and also, let's be the most happy that this Pokemon can't G-Max. Because if it could do that, I don't even think anyone could survive against this Pokemon. Not even Snorlax. Yep, this Pokemon is so powerful, even those with high base defense will fall victim to this Pokemon's incredible power. Slack King made its anime debut in the Advanced Challenge episode, Love Petalburg style, also under the ownership of Norman. This Pokemon definitely gave Ash a great battle, as well as many of us who played the Hoenn games. For a father versus son or daughter battle, your father definitely chose the right Pokemon to test your strength and skills with. After all, your father gives you the balance badge, and 
he knows the right Pokemon to use with the exact right balance. I have to say, for a battle between a father and a child, it's one of the most memorable battles you'll ever have. Even if it's a very quick battle in the games with fighting type Pokemon, you'll never forget that you defeated your own father. This was the man who raised you, taught you to be the trainer you are, and you made him proud. That's the greatest thing you could do for any father. For some of us, a father is a very important person to have in our lives. And for some of us, I think maybe you could see parts of your father in all three of these Pokemon. You could look at the lazy side of your father at times in Slackhoff and Slacking. You can also see the active parts of him in Vigoroth. I also would say that he's oftentimes there for you, just like Slacking can be as a very reliable partner. And sometimes he can be very annoying to deal with and he can be very aggressive, just like Vigoroth. But sometimes he can be very tired and overworked, just like Slacking. And sometimes we kind of see our father as a clown, like Slackoff. There's many ways you could see your father. You could see him as a clown. You could see him as a superhero. You could see him as a slacker. You could even see him as nothing at all. But sometimes you should know that the father is trying the hardest. And there's something that you would never expect. They're you. If you ask me, I think all three of these Pokemon have a very good balance together. They have a good relationship with their trainer. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're very active, and sometimes they're very powerful, but they're just very lazy. That's sometimes a relationship I think sometimes some of us have with our fathers, especially that we don't get along with them as we grow up. But sometimes we can fix things and things can turn out better for us than we could ever expect. Just think of that battle you have against your own father in the Petalburg Gym. It's a very tough battle, but you made it all that way and you take on your father. And once you win, he's upset, but at the same time, he's very proud of you. So taking on these Pokemon is kind of as if you're evolving. You start off as a baby with Slackoff, grow a lot taller, a lot stronger, and a lot more hyperactive as a little bit of a kid in Vigoroth, and then you become that as a teenager. And finally, you become Slacking, a very powerful creature, but oftentimes it needs breaks and it oftentimes needs to rest. So yeah, you could kind of see the life of your own father in all three of these Pokemon, even the life of you as well, who goes from being lazy to active to being active and a little bit lazy. I really do got to say, these Pokemon are a lot of fun. They have a really unique evolutionary line, and they do like to play a lot of games on you. But that's also a way you could see yourself as growing up through these Pokemon, that you also like to play games, but then you got to learn to be an adult. And I think that this was the most perfect team that your own father could use against you, because after all, he raised a great kid, and he wanted you to be your very best. And if you look at all these Pokemon that try their hardest in a battle, even if they can be lazy, and even if one's very aggressive and angry, you could tell that they want to be their best, and they're always there for you by your side. Even though sometimes your fathers could be not there, they can oftentimes watch over you, hope the best for you, and maybe you lost one. Maybe you miss them very much. Maybe they're not in your lives, or maybe you don't get along with them, but... Maybe today for Father's Day, you reach out, you at least try to be there for your father and just say, thank you for being with me. Thank you for helping me come into this world and thank you for everything. And if they're not there, just pray for them and hope that good things happen with them and that they're still watching you and they're still hoping the best for you. Who's your daddy? Norman, that's who's your daddy. He's one of the coolest gym leaders, and he gives you one of the most impressive gym battles of all time. And he even comes home in the Emerald Games after the game is over. So yeah, you have a pretty good father figure in Pokemon. Let's just hope in the future games that happens. And let's also hope that in the future, Ash Ketchum finally meets his father. Who knows? At least they got it mentioned in the movie Secrets of the Jungle. Speaking of which... I think that's a great movie to show your father today, if they're into Pokemon, or if they're not. It's a movie between father and child, and it shows a big bond between both of them with Coco and Dada. So, I gotta ask you, 
who's your favorite of this line, or do you not really like this line because of the Tront ability? Also, have I changed your mind about these Pokemon? Do they look cooler now, knowing that one becomes a behemoth of a monkey with incredible strength? Or do you still not like this monkey? Also, was Norman a challenge for you? Was he a pushover, or was it a battle that you have never forgotten? I really would like to know. I also want to know how you're spending your Father's Day today. I hope that you guys are having a good one, maybe a decent one. I don't really know how Father's Day is going for anyone, but I'm hoping the best for everyone. And hey, just remember, maybe sometimes you and your father don't get along. Maybe you and your father had a falling out, but be nice today and just try to wish them a happy Father's Day because even though if they failed, they still were trying. And that's the best they can do because no parent is perfect. No one has a map to know what's the right road to go. And most of all, nobody can tell what the future will hold. But hey, sometimes some parents do great and sometimes some parents do horrible. But just know that if you're growing up to become a father or you've recently become a father, do your best. There's a lot you can do and do your best to teach your child. While your child may not be happy all the time with everything you teach them, you're doing your best and that's what counts. Always do your best, never slack. Don't be a slack off, be a vigoroth, or even be a slack king. Take some breaks once in a while, but always show your child you can persevere and do the best. If you like what you saw, please leave a like. If you have an idea that you want to get turned into a video or you want to answer any of my questions, please comment. And as always, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I also want to say, if you have any friends that like these videos, please share to them. Thanks for watching and happy Father's Day. Palm out.